Now let us move ahead and let us solve this problem. Okay. So I think till now the problem that we have solved were all the problems. All the problems were nothing but your first order differential equations. So till now the problem that we have solved were all first order differential equation. Okay. But now what we are going to do is we are going to solve a second order differential equation using Euler's method. So this if you see is nothing but a second order differential equation and these are the two initial values that they have given us and we have to solve this using Euler's method. Okay. So again the method is very simple. So the idea here is what you have to do is whenever you encounter second order problem, third order problem, fourth order problems, okay, fourth order differential equations, what you are going to do is you are going to decompose those equations into equivalent first order differential equations. So when you talk about the second order differential equation, what you are going to do here is you are going to de uh, decompose the second order differential equation into two first order differential equations. Okay. So suppose if, if this was a, uh, a third order differential equation, what you would have done? You would have decomposed it into three first order differential equation and so on. Okay. But that you can do it on, on computer. But at present, we just have second order differential equation. So what you are going to do here is you are going to just decompose this second order differential equation into two first order differential equations. Okay. Now the question here is how you are going to do it. So, so what you are going to do is you are going to define a variable. You are going to say that dy upon dt is equal to z. So what you're going to do is you're going to define a new variable. You're going to say dy upon dt is equal to z. Then if you talk about this differential equation, this becomes dz upon dt is equal to, bring everything on this side, 0 0.5 t minus y. So if you can see here how simply, simply, how simply we have uh, decomposed a second order differential equation into two first order differential equation. This is one equation, this is another equation. Okay. And similarly, if you see the boundary conditions here, the boundary condition here is going to be at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. But here it this is y dash is equal to 0. But if you see your y dash, your dy by dt is nothing but what? Is nothing but your y dash. So you can say that this is z0 equal to 0. So if you see now this problem is now converted into the previous problem. Okay, if you see the if you can recall the previous problem, this is what the problem was. You had two differential equations. Okay. And then you had this domain, this step, and these were the initial condition. Similarly, what we have here, we have converted this into this first differential equation, second differential equation, first initial value, second initial value. This is the domain. This is the step. And that's it. So now, if you follow the previous problem, I think we should be able to solve this problem. So I'll not solve this problem. I want you all to solve this problem. Okay. So this is how you can solve a second order differential equation using Euler's method. The only thing that you have to do is you just have to decompose the second order differential equation into two first order differential equations. That's it. 
so this is it i think uh, thank you very much